Struggling to cut sugar and carbs from your diet? Discover five surprisingly delicious, low-carb, sugar-free foods that can transform your health today. Hello everyone, are you tired of feeling sluggish and unhealthy? Struggling to cut sugar and carbs from your diet? Let me tell you, it's not as difficult as some might think. We're about to dive headfirst into a culinary adventure, exploring five surprisingly delicious low-carb, sugar-free foods that can transform your health today. Join me as I take on the challenge of finding the top five surprising low-carb, sugar-free foods to help you become a healthier version of yourself. The alarming rise in obesity rates is a serious concern, and it's no secret that sugar consumption plays a significant role in this epidemic. It's time to ditch the sugary drinks, the processed foods, and start fueling your body with the good stuff. Get ready to revolutionize your diet and discover a world of flavor without the guilt. It's time to take control of your health, one delicious bite at a time. Firstly, we have cauliflower gnocchi. This isn't just any gnocchi, it's a modern twist on a classic dish. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cauliflower? Really? As a substitute for pasta? You gotta be joking. But hold on, don't dismiss it until you try it. But trust me on this one. This game-changing ingredient has taken the low-carb community by storm, and for good reason. It's not just a fad, it's a revolution in healthy eating. We're not talking about some bland, mushy mess that leaves you unsatisfied. We're talking about a flavor-packed, satisfying alternative that will leave you wondering why you ever bothered with traditional gnocchi in the first place. It's that good. It's all about texture, about getting that perfect bite, the kind that makes you close your eyes and savor every moment. Start by steaming the cauliflower until it's tender but not falling apart. This step is crucial for the right consistency, then we're going to give it a good blitz in the blender until it's nice and smooth. You want it to be silky, almost like a puree. Don't even think about skipping this step. Lumpy cauliflower is not what we're going for here. Smoothness is key. Next, we're going to add some eggs and cheese to bind it all together. The eggs provide structure, while the cheese adds that irresistible flavor. This is where the magic happens. The cheese adds a richness and depth of flavor that will make your taste buds sing. It's the secret ingredient that takes this dish to the next level. Now, here's the fun part shaping the gnocchi. This is where you can get creative and have a bit of fun in the kitchen. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's all part of the process and makes the end result even more rewarding. Roll the dough into small bite-sized dumplings, making sure they're nice and even. Consistency is important for even cooking. You want them to cook evenly, don't you? This ensures that each piece is perfectly cooked and delicious. Once you've got your perfectly formed gnocchi, it's time to cook them up. This is where the magic really starts to happen. You can boil them, saute them, or even bake them. Each method brings out a different aspect of the gnocchi's flavor and texture. I like to get a nice golden crust on mine by pan frying them in a little bit of olive oil. It adds a delightful crunch that contrasts beautifully with the soft interior. And the best part, you can top your cauliflower gnocchi with whatever you like. A simple tomato sauce, a creamy pesto, or even a spicy arrabbiata. The possibilities are endless. You can customize it to suit your taste. So ditch the carb-laden pasta and give this low-carb, guilt-free alternative a try. You won't be disappointed. It's a delicious way to enjoy a classic dish without the guilt. Next up, we have zucchini boats. Now, this is what I call a versatile dish. Zucchini boats are not only delicious, but also incredibly customizable. You can stuff these with just about anything your heart desires. From savory to sweet, the possibilities are endless. It's a blank canvas for your culinary creativity, and I'm here to help you unleash your inner chef. Let's get started. First things first, we need to choose the perfect zucchinis. This is the foundation of our dish, so it's important to pick the best ones. Look for ones that are firm, with smooth skin and no blemishes. The fresher, the better. We don't want any bruised or battered zucchinis ruining our masterpiece, do we? A good zucchini should feel heavy for its size. Once you've got your zucchinis, it's time to hollow them out. This step is crucial for making space for all that delicious filling. Now, you can use a spoon for this, but I prefer to use a melon baller. It makes the job easier and more precise. It gives you a nice even scoop every time. Consistency is key for even cooking. Now, for the fun part, the filling. This is where you can really let your imagination run wild. Think about your favorite flavors and ingredients. This is where you can really let your imagination run wild. From meats to veggies and even grains, the sky's the limit. 
I like to keep things simple with a classic Italian sausage and pepper filling. It's a crowd pleaser and always a hit. But you can go for a Mexican-inspired fiesta with ground beef, beans and all the fixings. Add some spices for an extra kick. Or how about a Mediterranean medley with lamb, feta and olives? The choice is yours. You can even mix and match. Once you've got your filling all prepped, it's time to stuff those zucchinis. Make sure to fill them generously. Don't be shy. Pack it in there nice and tight. The more filling, the better the flavour in every bite. We want every bite to be bursting with flavour. The goal is to have a perfect balance of zucchini and filling. Now pop those beauties in the oven and bake until the zucchini is tender and the filling is heated through. This usually takes about 20, 25 minutes. You can even sprinkle some cheese on top for the last few minutes of cooking to create a gooey, cheesy topping. It adds an extra layer of deliciousness. And there you have it. Zucchini boats fit for a king. They look as good as they taste. They're a delicious, healthy and satisfying meal that will leave you feeling full and satisfied, perfect for any occasion. So ditch the greasy takeout and get cooking. Your taste buds will thank you. Third on our list is spaghetti squash, a true gem in the world of vegetables. Now this is a vegetable that often gets overlooked and I'm here to tell you why that's a mistake. It's time to give this underappreciated veggie the spotlight it deserves. Spaghetti squash is not only delicious, but it's also incredibly versatile. You can use it in a variety of dishes, making it a fantastic addition to your culinary repertoire. It's like the chameleon of the vegetable world, taking on the flavors of whatever you pair it with. Whether it's savory or sweet, spaghetti squash can handle it all. The first step is to cook the spaghetti squash. This is where the magic begins. Now you can roast it, but I find that microwaving it is the quickest and easiest method. It's perfect for those busy weeknights when you need dinner on the table fast. Simply pierce the squash a few times with a fork, pop it in the microwave and cook it on high for about 10 to 12 minutes or until tender. This method ensures it cooks evenly and quickly. Once the spaghetti squash is cooked, let it cool slightly before handling it. This makes it easier to work with and prevents any burns. Then using a fork, scrape out the flesh and marvel at how it magically separates into long spaghetti-like strands. It's truly a sight to behold. See, I told you it was magic. It's like nature's own pasta, but much healthier. Now here comes the fun part. You can treat this spaghetti squash just like you would regular spaghetti. The possibilities are endless. Toss it with your favourite pasta sauce, whether it's a classic tomato sauce, a creamy Alfredo or a pesto. Each sauce brings out a different aspect of the squash's flavour. You can even add some protein, like grilled chicken, shrimp or tofu. This makes it a complete meal that's both nutritious and satisfying. And don't forget the veggies. Adding more vegetables not only boosts the nutritional value, but also enhances the taste and texture. Spaghetti squash is a great way to sneak in some extra vegetables into your diet. It's perfect for picky eaters or anyone looking to eat healthier. Add some chopped spinach, mushrooms or bell peppers to your dish. These veggies complement the squash beautifully and add a burst of colour. And there you have it. A dish that's not only visually appealing, but also packed with flavour and nutrients. A delicious, healthy and satisfying meal that's ready in minutes. It's perfect for any occasion, whether it's a quick lunch or a fancy dinner. So ditch the carb-laden pasta and give spaghetti squash a try. It's a fantastic alternative that won't leave you feeling heavy. Your taste buds will thank you and so will your waistline. Enjoy the delightful experience of spaghetti squash. Fourth, we have portobello mushroom burgers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mushrooms? As a substitute for a juicy burger, it might sound unusual, but hold on a moment. These are not your average bland mushrooms. We're talking about portobello mushrooms. Big, meaty, and bursting with flavor. The key to a good portobello mushroom burger is all in the marinade. We need to give these mushrooms some serious flavor. And that's where my secret weapon comes in. A blend of herbs, spices, and a good glug of balsamic vinegar. This will not only add flavor, but it will also help to tenderize the mushrooms. Once you've marinated your mushrooms, it's time to grill them up. Now you can use a grill pan or an outdoor grill, whichever you prefer. Just make sure the grill is nice and hot before you start cooking. While the mushrooms are grilling, it's time to prepare the rest of your burger toppings. I like to keep things simple with some lettuce, tomato and onion, but feel free to get creative and add your own personal touch. Once the mushrooms are cooked through, it's time to assemble your burgers. 
Place the grilled portobello mushroom on a low-carb bun or lettuce wrap and top with your favorite toppings. And there you have it, a delicious, healthy and satisfying burger that's sure to impress even the most dedicated meat lovers. So ditch the greasy beef patties and give these portobello mushroom burgers a try. You might just be surprised at how much you love them. And finally, we have celery root fries. Now, I know what you're thinking. Celery root, that knobbly, unusual-looking thing? You're joking, right? But trust me on this one, everyone. Celery root, also known as celeriac, is a hidden gem in the vegetable world. It's got this incredible, earthy, slightly sweet flavor that is absolutely divine when roasted. Now, the key to making perfect celery root fries is all in the cut. You want to cut them into nice, even sticks, about the thickness of your finger. This will ensure that they cook evenly and get nice and crispy. Once you've got your celery root fries all prepped, toss them in a bowl with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and any other herbs or spices you prefer. I like to add a pinch of smoked paprika for a bit of a smoky flavor. Now spread the fries out on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, making sure they're not touching. This will help them to crisp up nicely. Pop those beauties in a preheated oven and roast them until they're golden brown and crispy. The cooking time will vary depending on how thick you cut your fries, but it's usually around 20 to 25 minutes. And there you have it, crispy, flavorful celery root fries that are a far cry from those bland, soggy fries you get at the takeaway. Serve them with your favorite dipping sauce or enjoy them as a side dish with your next meal. You won't be disappointed. But wait, there's one more surprising low-carb, sugar-free food option we need to talk about, and it's a big one. Get ready for it. Um, pickles. Yes, you heard me right. Pickles, those tangy, crunchy delights, are not only delicious, but they're also incredibly good for you. Now, I'm not talking about those overly sweet, fluorescent yellow pickles you find in the supermarket. We're talking about proper, fermented pickles packed with gut-healthy probiotics. Making your own pickles is easier than you think. Start by slicing up some cucumbers. You can use any type of cucumber you like, but I prefer to use Kirby cucumbers because they're nice and crunchy. Next, you'll need to make a brine. This is simply a mixture of vinegar, water, salt and spices. You can use any type of vinegar you like, but I find that apple cider vinegar gives the pickles a nice mellow flavor. Once you've got your cucumbers and brine ready, it's time to pack them into jars. I like to add some garlic cloves, dill and peppercorns to my jars for extra flavor. Seal the jars tightly and leave them to ferment at room temperature for at least a week. The longer you leave them, the tangier and more flavorful they'll be. And there you have it, homemade pickles that are not only delicious, but also good for your gut. Enjoy them as a snack, add them to sandwiches, or serve them as a side dish. Making smart food choices is crucial for a healthier lifestyle. By cutting out sugary treats and focusing on whole nutrient-dense foods, we can experience incredible benefits for our health and well-being. Every bite counts and every healthy choice brings us closer to our goals. Thanks for joining me on this journey to discover the top five surprising low-carb, sugar-free foods. Share your favorite low-carb, sugar-free foods in the comments section below and let's support each other on this path to a healthier, happier us. Don't forget to subscribe for more wellness tips and transformation updates and let's do this together. Now go forth and conquer those cravings. Remember, a healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be boring. With a little bit of creativity and a dash of culinary passion, you can enjoy delicious, satisfying meals without the guilt. Until next time, keep those kitchens lively.